Support for Alleist comes from Visual Communications, presenting VC Film Fest, celebrating 40 years of Asian and Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander filmmaking, with over 200 films May 1st through 10th. Info at festival.vcmedia.org. What does it mean to you to feel connected to yourself? That's a really great question. This is a passion. We love it. We forget about the outside world. So this time passed here together is a sharing of that passion. From LA Studios, this is How to LA. I'm producer Megan Botel. If we can just find that, that peace, find that joy within a community, and we feel the space that is empty, that is lonely, then we're full again. So I've been reporting this series on how not to be lonely in LA for a few months now. You might recall a few weeks ago, we looked at how group movement, like sports leagues and dance classes, is a great way to find community. That was episode 256, in case you missed it and want to go back. We talked about how, from a psychology perspective, moving in sync with others helps promote bonding and breeds an overall sense of belonging and closeness. Basically, it's just a really good way to feel less lonely and make some like-minded friends. There's just so many interesting artists and creators and just they're all incredibly intelligent. Okay, well that whole idea led me to take my first ballet class in about a decade. I grew up doing ballet really seriously and I love other forms of dance now, but for whatever reason, I hadn't gotten myself to an actual ballet class in quite some time. As a dancer, you need to be strong. You need just to be vulnerable. You need just to be brave. And it was sort of wild. It was like remembering some fundamental part of myself that I haven't accessed in a really long time. And it really got me thinking about something that's come up a few times now in the series on the loneliness epidemic. And that's the idea of not just connecting to others and finding community, but connecting to ourselves. So once you have that, the outside world can just say whatever they want. It doesn't move you. One thing I kept hearing through all these interviews about loneliness is that you can be surrounded by people, but if you aren't connected to yourself, you'll still feel lonely. We've all heard the advice or read on some New Age blog somewhere to go find yourself. Don't lose yourself. Stay connected. But... What does being connected to yourself actually mean? I think it's reconnecting to your inner child, first of all, to the play. So doing those activities that you loved or did as a kid might be one really physical, literal way to quote unquote, reconnect to yourself. A journey back to your inner child, if you will. Reconnect with your body, reconnecting with the passion, reconnecting with the trust. At any age, you can just come back and do the things you love. So here I am reconnecting to myself and my youth at a funky little dance studio tucked behind the Hyperion Arts Building in Silver Lake. This is my world. This is my safe place. This is my happy place. Hello, my name is Cathy Jean and I am a dance teacher, so I teach ballet. I teach floor bar, um, bar sol, and I teach modern jazz. We are at Studio A in Silver Lake or Los Feliz. I, I, I have just to look at the map. Studio A. So I found dance because I was moving all the time in my living room. We were just uh, very loose because I had a, a really difficult childhood. Mm-hmm. Lots of chaos around me. It just really got me just to be within myself in the moment. At eight, I took my first class and I was like, whoa, I love this. We were just like, okay, this is it. I, it's my life. And um, that's it. It really healed me. It was the, the place where I could go and just be present and find joy and find peace and work hard. Because, you know, like the adult world was a mess. My mom, my dad, everything. And so I could find that the ground, working with the floor, just being present with the music, being entirely just enveloped. 
And so to me, it was, it was the safe place and it's always, it always is. Just the sense of also being in a community is becoming your family. You know, we all work toward the same goal, toward refining the movement, just so you can share with others as well. It's a hard work for oneself, but it's also just very generous. Mm -hmm. And so you also just feel all those energy around you, the, the friends, the family that you just are making. So that, that community also became the safe family that I could not have. On, with the adult world. <laughs> <laughs> it's How do you see dance particularly create community? It seems like the people that come to you as a teacher, they come for your knowledge, but they also come for your character, for your personality, for the mood that you give within the class. I like to laugh, I'm, I'm, I like discipline, but I like just to also just make joke or just to be really out and, and bright about things. So I have like a, a happy mood. Just really just working hard, but also just remembering that this is a passion. We love it. You know, like, so this time passed here together is a sharing of that passion. There's just so many interesting artists and creators and just they're all incredibly intelligent. So we share, you know, and so it becomes another family. You open up and it feels like to me, when I gave my the maximum, then they have the maximum. They're recharged. So they can just give the maximum to their community. I'm thinking about it as a ripple effect. And then we're very connected and we trust each other and we can count on each other. Bill, so he's the owner of Studio A and he has so much generosity that you just feel it. He loves dancers and he wants us to be fulfilled uh, and he wants us to thrive. So another person that is giving the full of himself and you can feel it in the studio. And then you enter and there's this beautiful little garden, you know, you, you enter like it's an oasis. You feel the energy, the energy is very, very vibrant. I started dancing, I guess, in the middle of a massive crisis in my life. I was walking just down the street, not knowing what to do with my life. And I walked by a community dance studio this is Kat Moore. She's the director of belonging at USC, does a ton of research about loneliness, and took classes at Studio A for years. And just saw all these flyers pasted on the windows, Zumba and jazz and whatever. And for some reason, the ballet flyer stood out to me. It was just one of those moments where I was like, oh, I have to do that. I'd never danced in my life, but it just felt like it was calling to me. I think I went to my first class, like in running shorts and a bathing suit. Like I did not have any appropriate attire or shoes or anything. And I walked in and it was just this group of women from the community. Some had dance pasts and some didn't. And Kati was the teacher. And I literally didn't even know how to stand at the bar or anything, but I was just totally welcomed in, and it was a non-competitive environment, and I ended up just standing behind a woman who knew what she was doing and just watching her legs and imitating everything that she did. And I just had an immediate experience of being part of something bigger than myself with all of these supportive people. It started, I don't know, changing something in my body that helped me feel grounded and alive and... I don't know, like things were possible. And it's one of the main things that got me through probably the worst period of my life. I think that there was something so fundamental about connecting with other people through synchronized movement without talking to each other. You know, it wasn't like we sat down and told each other our life stories and that's why we bonded. But you're in a mirrored room too. And so 
you're paying attention to your own body, but you're also very aware of the other bodies around you and what they're doing. And you're striving to really be in sync because everyone's doing the same motions. And I had to pay such focused attention because I didn't know what I was doing on other people. And so it forced me to literally be in sync with someone who was, I don't know, how far away are they on the bar? Like four feet. So you're really in close proximity trying to sync your bodies and you're getting all these reflections in the mirror of how you look. So there's like this biofeedback mechanism too. And you're hearing the other people breathe and not having to talk. We connect, you know, as babies through our bodies first, not through verbally um, and not by shared tasks. So there was something just very elemental about all being in the shared space and you just get to get out of your head in a certain way and stop worrying about what other people think of you and just literally try to drop into the moment and be in sync with other bodies. You're feeding off each other's energy, you know, and so it carries over into how you then feel. When you feel like you're free falling or, you know, on the spiral slide into despair, you really only need one thing to hold on to. It's not the time of your life where you're like, oh, I need to have like the most robust portfolio of relationships and happy things. Like you need one thing to hold on to. One person, one place, one ritual, one book, one anything that's keeping you from sinking further. So I really only needed the reassurance that if I can feel okay in one area of my life, even though the rest of it is crumbling, I know that over time, something else can happen that will be another handhold. And if there can be two, there can be three. And if there can be three, there can be four. So I was more in a state of I needed the universe to prove to me that there was something that was solid, not everything. And that was enough to keep me afloat. More after a quick break. Support comes from Visual Communications, presenting VC Film Fest, celebrating 40 years showcasing Asian and Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander filmmaking, featuring over 200 works ranging from narrative film, documentary films, photo exhibits, and new media. VC Film Fest honors our beloved elder cultural workers, linking them to present and emerging artists to empower communities and challenge perspectives. May 1st through 10th in Little Tokyo and in Long Beach. Info at festival.vcmedia.org. We're back with How to LA. I'm producer Megan Botel, and we're speaking with teacher Kati Jean at Studio A in Silver Lake. What would you say for like some words of encouragement for somebody like me who grew up doing dance and knows all the wonderful benefits but didn't choose to do it professionally? Mm -hmm. What sorts of benefits do you think coming back to it in your adult life? Like for me, it's been 10 years since I took a ballet class mm -hmm. until your incredible class today. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, what would you say to people like that who are adults now and want to kind of reconnect? Mm -hmm. well, I think it's reconnecting to your inner child, first of all, to the play. Even though it's really hard, we, we play. Reconnect with your body, reconnecting with the passion, reconnecting with the trust. At any age, you can just come back and do the things you love. You don't just come and dance for workout. You don't work out. If you want to work out, you go somewhere. You, you, you go somewhere else. It's very different. So I think it's that. It's in, ignite, ignite, how do you say? Inish, igniting. igniting the fire within. Uh, and, then, and then just get everything on fire, of course, because there's so much shaking. Yeah. And then just be really happy about the work that you do, all the sensation, yeah. even if it's frustration or you, you go through a lot of um, emotions when you take class. Mm -hmm. So uh, be aware of that. Don't think twice. Go. If your soul, if your heart is asking, you do it. Keep pushing the back heel toward the front. To me, dance and, and life are very, very similar. 
You know, if you apply the, the principle of dance, you live that way as well. So just always open, always just dare, always just step forward, always just try, always refine. You know that you could just refine everything that you are. In dance, our body re re become a tool, right? How refined can I just give that? How refined can my soul open? How can I just uh, go beyond? How can I transcend? Pirouette, fourth. Now, pirouette on the or, finish grand quatrième, ton lit en arrière seven. Do you think dance can help one feel less lonely? Yes. Yes. How so? <laughs> so, when you feel alone, you feel empty, you go back to your family, to the only people that are as weird as you, hardworking as you, and then you, you find companionship, you find friendship. The really strong bonds. Your battery has been charged. You've been just completely elevated. I always hear my dancers, my students, just coming out of class and be like, oh, that feels incredible, I feel so much better. Or, I was not feeling good before and now that's it, it's, it's over. I don't, I don't even know why I was in that state. So it really shifts everything. It, everything again is, is about the body and your your action in life, right? When you feel strong, when you feel that you have skills, that is already just a, a, a big difference. You're just opening up. Like it's almost like a, a walnut, I'm thinking about the shell, and then you crack that shell. So you're already cracking the shell because you're working on your physicality. Then you work on your trust in yourself to become an artist. I believe that we're all artists, but we just need to go and dig it and just open it. Once it's, you find that, there's so much in the world that you can do. You can be anything you want. So once you have that, the outside world can just say whatever they want. It doesn't move you, you know? So at least to me, I've always kept that. It's like, no matter what, I have that. This is my world. This is my safe place. This is my happy place. Thank you. That's all we've got for you today. This episode was produced and reported by me, Maggie Motel. Our host of the show, Brian De Los Santos, will be back later this week. Support for this podcast is made possible by Gordon and Donna Crawford, who believe that quality journalism makes Los Angeles a better place to live. The LAS Spring Super Sweeps is happening now. You can win amazing prizes while supporting your source for local fact-based journalism. One lucky grand prize winner will get to choose a brand new Lexus or $25,000 in cash. Other prizes include an electric bike from Juice Bikes and $1,000 gas gift cards. Your donation of $60 gets you one entry to win. And the more you give, the more entries you get. Donate now at LAS.com sweeps.